Hey YouTube, this is NJ Full Rider 5 and uh, today I'm going to uh, test some Power to Spare batteries. Um, Terry over at Power to Spare has uh, generously donated to my e-bike cause and he has given me 150 NCR 18650 BFs. Okay, so these are the boxes they come in. And of course, um, this is being done on my desk, so my camera angle is a little odd. Um, a little bit about the company, Power to Spare. All of his 18650 cells are recovered from high-grade medical packs manufactured between 2015 and 2019. Each box of the 3000 milliamps have genuine NCR 18650As or NCR 18650BF and are capacity tested twice for verification and quality control. Each allotment sits for over a week and the voltage is rechecked prior to packaging. A random sample is taken from each and re-capacity checked prior to packaging. His testing equipment, all of their electrical equipment and cells are capacity tested and charged with 100% clean green solar power. His whole shop runs on solar energy. It's freaking nuts. Out of the pack voltages 3.4 to 4.05, discharge test testing conducted on Opus BTC 3100 V2 units at 1000 milliamps and onboard setting of 4.2. His recharge is conducted via charging stations at 1000 milliamps using TP4056 chips. Cells are monitored during charging and discharging to prevent overheating. Each cell has been tested, the capacity written on it. And from talking to him, I think he said that he does not like cells that even get above 40 C. If a cell fails any of their tests, we don't we don't try and save it, we bin it. Uh, cell reclaiming. We go processing each cell and remove the spot welds the best they can and clean as much of the special caulking that is used in the medical packs. The caulking used in packs are quite sticky and sometimes during the process of removing the cells, the caulking can damage the sleeves. Therefore, he includes 100 dark blue sleeves with each purchase free of charge so that you may have a uniform look to your build. We also include two additional free cells as a just in the case protection so that if one or two of the cells in the lot fail, you have an instant replacement. And if none of the cells fail, then you have two extra cells to add to your build. Um, his shipping, all of their cells are pre-packaged in custom double walled boxes and each cell in its own spacing protects from the other cells during transport and placed inside of a separate shipping container. Each box is clearly marked with a MAH rating range order ordered and the free 100 dark blue sleeves. Two extra cells are affixed to the outside of the inner box. Each box is clearly marked with the MAH rating range ordered and the free 100 dark blue sleeves with the two extra cells that are affixed to the outside of the inner box. The owner, of course, is a DIY power builder and knows exactly what we're looking for during our builds. Good quality, reliable cells and equipment that won't fail the first time you use it. We're selling you exactly the same cells he's using for his build. So if, you know, if any of you guys know Terry, then you know that he posted pictures on his Facebook page and I'll leave that down in the description. I'll also leave the link to his webpage down in the description if you guys want to get in get your hands on any of these cells um i'm going to go ahead and take these cells and what i want to do is because of course you know i actually trust him but i actually want to do a spot check just to show you guys on camera how reliable these are so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up these boxes real quick and then after i open them i'm going to test four eight I'm going to test 12 cells, one on Opus BTC 3100 B22s, like the one he uses. I'm going to test four on the, the Lido Kala Little 500, and I'm going to test uh, four on the X-Star Dragon. So let's uh, open these up and see what we have inside. Okay, so opening up the box, it looks like he uses packing peanuts, which is good. Okay, 
All right, so let's open up the box. It's got his card on here. It looks like he's got his email, phone number, business card. Um, here they are. So I'm going to randomly pick, I guess I'm going to randomly pick eight cells from here. And I'm going to pick four cells from the uh, box of 50 or that I got from And as you can see, he clearly marks every single box, 3300s to 3399, NCR18650BFs. All right, I'm gonna set up the Opus, the Lila Kala, and the X-Star Dragon on my desk, and then more than likely, we'll speed through it. All right, so there it goes. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll come back after everything's complete and we'll see what capacities we get on these. All right, so I decided to uh, just do a quick update because I know this one's fixing to be finished. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let these go keep going to see what I get with these. Um, it looks like my Opus may be registering kind of high, or maybe this is the actual capacity. But uh, typically, this Opus that I'm using right here, I usually get the most, I guess, the uh, best results. I've tested, you know, what I get with this with other, you know, chargers and just chargers I have. But uh, it's registering these at one's registering at 3513. Uh, 3472, 3366, and if I had to guess, this one's going to be closer to 35, uh, maybe 35, 35. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let these run through. Uh, heat wise, uh, these never, and believe it or not, this is on the Opus, uh, none of them went over 40. They got close. Uh, this one right here got kind of warm. Um, the rest of the cells over here. I didn't really get no warmth from the X-Star, but I never really do. Uh, on the Lila Kala though, uh, this cell right here seemed to get the warmest. And uh, it, did, it got up to like 44.9, and that's probably the highest I've seen it get so far. Um, my only concern is I believe, even though it says that it discharges at one amp, I, I think that's probably the charge current. I think this actually discharges at 0.5. Uh, so this cell right here, after all is said and done, is done as charging and all that other stuff, I may do a quick discharge with the Opus or with this at 2 amps. Okay, well, let's see. I started this test at 10 a.m. this morning, and right now it is about 9.30 at night. So uh, just to give you an example of uh, what you save by having or purchasing these batteries from Power to Spare, these batteries would probably have taken me, I mean, if I streamlined them, and I tested all 150 at the fastest, and I've only got three of the Opuses, and I've got some other odds and end uh, capacity checkers, but they're nowhere as quick as the Opus. Um, let's see, this took me... Well, it took four hours to charge, so... You're looking at about... Man. I bet you're looking at a good six to eight hours 
uh, testing a 3300 milliamp battery and uh, knowing that all these batteries are either close to the, uh, the milliamps he placed on there or better uh, that tells you right there that this would take me forever to test so if I if I personally got myself 150 of these cells non-tested and I broke the cells apart and tested every single battery. I'm looking at a good probably week or two weeks of testing uh, non-stop and I'm sure I'd come up with a, a main line and I'm sure I'd get efficient at it but it'd still take an extremely long amount of time. I bet you I'd probably be able to do a complete run a day and I'm looking at probably doing 20 a day with my setup. Let's see I've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, one, two, three, four, five. I've got 20 testers. So at 3,300 milliamps, uh, I might be able to get uh, one of them tested with the capacities and then charged and possibly another run of capacity. And so that's 20 and a half and there's 150 of them. So you're looking at, shoot, five. I'm looking at least a week of straight nonstop testing and that's if I didn't have nothing to do and all I had was to test batteries it would still take me an extremely long time amount of time and I, if you guys are like me your time is valuable so uh, these are well worth their their uh, price uh, power to spare um, you can't beat it I mean look at this I've gotten with the opus uh, 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 these are all definitely they all measure def differently uh, you're never going to get the X-Tar to measure like the Opus, the Opus like the Lilacala, Lilacala like the X-Tar. They're all going to measure differently. It's just the way they're built. And uh, this Opus, which is my best Opus, is, uh, see I've got, on the 3373, I got 3513. On the 3377, 3472. 3363 I got 3366 no 3472 and on 3313 I got 3366 with the little Kala I got uh, 3269 for number one cell that one tested under that was 3361 which still is not bad uh, for the second cell it measured out at 3331 but I got 3430 so it measured higher uh, the third cell measured higher the fourth cell measured higher and with my X star, uh, number one measured higher, uh, number two measured higher, number three measured higher, and number four measured just 20 milliamps lower. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can't really beat that uh, the, as for temp. Uh, the hottest I got was this one cell right here and it got to 49. Uh, degrees uh, the other ones on the opus got to around 40 39 40 degrees and the opus runs them warm anyways a um, little concerned about this one I may take this out and test it later on but I highly doubt it I mean these are practically brand new cells uh, I'll go ahead and leave the description or I'll go ahead and leave power to spares links in my description along with the brief explanation of uh, Terry's company and I'm telling you guys, if you get a chance, get the batteries while he has them because they do not last, especially his higher milliamps. Uh, I think the rumor was he might be selling these red ones uh, non-tested. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But if he, t if he sells those non-tested, I'm sure you're going to get those in an incredible deal. Uh, the tested ones, of course, you're going to get them at his price. And I've explained earlier how he tests those. I mean, this guy puts everything he's got into these cells to make sure they're 100% ready to go, ready for your project, and these are going to make great, great e-bike batteries. Um, for the rest of the video, I'm going to go ahead, and I, what I like to do is, uh, I'm not going to leave a closing, I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, close it at that. You know, I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is take my X-Tar, and I like to use my X-Tar to test the resistance of all the cells. So I've got 150 cells to add wrapping to, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap 150 cells 
Uh, before that, I'm going to test the resistance and I'm going to write the resistance down and the capacity. And then on a separate sheet, I'm going to go ahead and write all those down. Uh, that'll conclude part two of this video. Part two of my e-bike build. This one is uh, solely for power to spare. That guy did me a righteous hookup. Uh, this video is uh, sponsored by him 100%. Um, yeah, take a look at his website. He's got an awesome website. So I'll leave that down in the description. I'll leave his eBay uh, page down in the description. Hey, uh, just real quick, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, man, my thing is being a little wonky. Uh, so I decided to run the sill that got up to 45, 40, 49.5 degrees real quick. And I decided to run it again on the Opus just to see if possibly there's something wrong with this, uh, I guess this, uh, this charger. So anyways, after I ran it with the Opus, uh, I'm not getting nothing over 30 degrees. So it's pretty weird that, you know, these probably ran kind of warm, you know, the first cycle the second cycle I'm not even getting over 30 degrees on them so I think it was a fluke I'm gonna throw another cell in here later on and see if I get another cell that heats up in this and I might have to uh, keep an eye on this uh, track so anyways uh, just wanted to update real quick that that the cell didn't even get over 30 degrees so it had to do with my charger and now it's time to check resistance and wrap 150 cells. Okay, YouTube, uh, I've got 140 more to go, or so, 138. Um, looks like right now with the X-Tar Dragon, I'm getting around 30 to 27 ohms on the resistance. It looks like, these I've already charged myself, so uh, as I go through these, I'm gonna write the charger down. I'll probably check them a little bit, you know, as I'm going through them, that way to make sure that I didn't get no, no uh, bad cells, but I mean, look, 30, 25, 26, 28, 29, 29, 30, 30, 29, 29, 28, 27. And uh, they're all 3,329s, and I actually got even higher. So that concludes part two to my e-bike build. This was just an unboxing and a review of Terry's batteries, power to spare. His links will be down in the description. Part three, we'll be taking the batteries, and we'll be arranging them. That way they're more efficient. Uh, I'll probably start getting the... Mainly part three is going to be the e-bike battery build. Uh, that one's going to be interesting because uh, hopefully it all fits on my desk. Because I got a tab weld every single one of those. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up wrapping these cells. Don't need to do that on camera. It's boring. And then... Uh, once I'm done wrapping these cells, I will start on part three, the e-bike build. Uh, with my battery, I'll be using the BMS uh, 45 app, and I'll be using uh, a 1.2 Active Balancer 14S. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and share. I will check you guys out in the next video.